Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for being a supporter of this channel. And today I want to ask a question to people who follow this channel from Western Kenya. The question is very simple. So for you to sell your presidential candidate and for you to sell your manifesto, is it selling when you go and tell the voters negative things about Trail Odinga? The traditional way of campaigning in this country has been even someone who is seeking an MCA seat and he knows that that place uh, there is he can negate, he can talk about negative things about Trail Odinga. That is what he does instead of telling people what he's supposed to do. The same way for in West, in Nyanza region, because they know that the, if you tell people about, if you, tell, if you mention negative things about William Ruto, you're likely to get an audience. So instead of telling people the things you are going to do to them, you rather resort to talking about William Samuel Ruto. And so that was just trying to build. And the reason why I'm asking um, this about Western is because of some two instances that I have, I have actually witnessed. Recently, there was an event that was being attended by Cleophas Malala. And I think there's just sort of some wind. Then Malala said that, you people near Raila. And of course, it was nothing to do with it. Then recently, I want to, I think this was over the weekend, I want to play for you a clip here. Benjamin Washelli was a, ma a master of ceremony in an event where uh, the guest of honor, I want to believe, was Oparanya, a gov Kakamega governor weekly for Paranya in Mumias East. And in, in the look of that event, and I'm going to play for you that video here, it seems it was more of a fundraiser or if it was a burial then it was at that level of being a, of, of, of fundraising then he tried to abuse Raila Odinga instead of selling the William Ruto manifesto of course you know that Benjamin Washelli is pro Kenya Kwanza and he supports William Samuel Ruto but then he opted he tried to insult Raila and it didn't go well with the audience and one of an MP aspirant seeking that seat, I think through an Azmir affiliate party, rose from his seat and snatched the microphone from him and dressed him down. So I, I don't know, someone should make us understand really whether if you talk negative about Raila, that's what sells. Or how is it, how is Western Kenya messaging being packaged. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to watch that video clip here. Then after that, we'll try to divide a bit, dissect that video kidogo. Then in the other part of this analysis, I will try to look at the Western politics. Na wakati mwingine nikiona watu wengine wanaleta hapa asira mingi, mimi nashangaa sana. Na mimi nataka niseme pole sana kwa kanisa na familia. Ese ndio balanga pita salasia. Na haura abantu babo lano, abantu bale bale la mikangano, abantu bale la mika, washara la mikrei, bale bale la mikrei, wose bale ka sana sana jeje ne. Lakini mimi nataka niwaambie leo hii ya kwamba msikuwe na asira au wanaenzi mara hii wamesema wanataka kijana mdogo ambaye anaitwa Peter Salasia. Sasa msikuwe na asira anasema ati wewe wewe shughulika na mambo yako ya Kenya kwanza. Wachana sisi watu wa azimio tuongo tuchukue mambo nafasi yetu tuende venye tunataka kuenda. Na mimi nataka pia niseme hivi Mwishimu umesema hapa ati ya kwamba ati wewe una, unatuzi ati mwishimu Raila ati alikuwa na lala wewe umekuwa chief whip wewe utuambie kama sisi watu wa mumia east constituents what have you done for us ambaye haiko katia constituents mzini so kwa hivyo you must respect leaders juzi wewe umekuwa huko nyumbani huko unasema huu ati mwenye wezi omwana salazia omwana umomwana omwana umomukasi au mainzu I'm 
mimi nataka niseme hivi. Governor mimi nataka niseme asante sana. Juzi umenisikia kila mahali niko kwa maradio na TV. Ili kispigania mambo ya Mumias. Governor umesimama na sisi kama wawanga na tulitaka ya kwamba Mumias hiyo investor endelee. Lakini wale watu wa Kenya kwanza ambaye huyu pia anatembea naye anaitwa Timalala. Hao ndio wa makatelzi waliingia na wakati watu wa East Kenya wakakataa Mumias ziendelee. Lakini unakuja kutuambia hapa nini? So lazima tukue na heshima na viongozi wetu. Esie baba ni bebe ngoku na manji ta. Kwa bora ni ndonzalazi yenye ndo uruo. Kwa baba ni bebe vaji kura mbunge. Chini zalazi uruo. Asema ra kanje. Baba ni bebe kwa ndo wazi ta. Kwa baba wala yule ero mbundu mbongo. Mbundu wa shuma kwa kwanza mane uruo. Eh kandi evwe ku bora ni bebe Yujini wa mama akishikia kule na kama na paranya anashikia huku state house direct Raila Amolo Odinga arumupala mbele ya state house baba ni bebe there is something you want us to appreciate in that video. The gentleman who was talking was talking in front of Washeli. And Washeli was very calm and cool listening to him. I can tell you and I see a level a high level of political tolerance in him. Sometimes you need to give credit. Because if this was somewhere, sorry to say, if this was somewhere in Nyanza, I am telling you that gentleman could not even speak to the end. And Washiali kept himself cool. But again, it could also mean that the Azimio supporters or the people who are, seemed to be aligning themselves to Azimio or to support Raila were the majority in that event. And that is why he had no option but to cool down because he could not outsmart that number. But I have an issue with now trying this uh, plan to uh, try to insult Raila Odinga or to say negative things about Raila in Western as a tool to win. I want to humbly request you to subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell, and sometimes I see uh, some uh, some subscribers, Emmanuel Achai, asking me, I missed a video. Thank you very much, brother, for always coming over to check what we are doing here. We are here because of people like you. What is happening in Kakamega? And in that video, I drew some four conclusions that I want us to look at. There is something you can take from Rai Lodinga in Kakamega. But you cannot take the fact, you can take away from him, but you cannot take away the fact that he has many loyal supporters. That is Mumias East. It is in Kakamega County. This is a place that has voted for Raila since 2007. So there are people who are Raila supporters there. Now, this is what is being manifested because you cannot, you cannot take it away. Remember, Oparanyi was voted there twice. Fernandez Baraza is also now there getting benefits and uh, getting 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 a chunk of some support there. So that is what is being manifested in that video. Now, number two, something I'm seeing is uh, I think politicians need to evaluate audience. There is something what is called audience evaluation. Even in media, like these radio stations, they have their audience and they evaluate. That is why you tailor made the programs to your audience. Now, I want to fall to a shell because he did not evaluate that audience. This is what happened. That event first was being attended by Oparanya. Majority of people there support Oparanya. Then, in that event, that is like, that is not an event that people are maybe mobilized to come and attend and given t-shirts and banners where it is a highly politically charged. It is not politically charged. And if you look at whatever was going on was a bit of a fundraiser. So the focus of the people are on what, how much you are giving and not really on the national leadership. As in, I felt, I felt like he got it wrong to try to bring the name of Raila Dinga Dinga there. That is why that guy got annoyed. So if you call like an event in your home, in your place, you've paid them, you've given them UDH t-shirts, if you say everything about Raila Dinga, no one cares. But this is not the kind of event. No.
that they need people need to customize messages to the areas or the places where they are. For example, Washel is not seeking an elective seat. And he is campaigning for William Samoy Ruta there, which is fine because he's a member of Kenya Kwanza. But I feel instead of going to attack Raila Odinga directly, for Western people, they even have a way of doing it. You just need to make sure first you sell Amsalem um, Davadi, because Amsalem um, Davadi is one of your own and politics is local. For the Western people, instead of, I don't know how it is cool to tell people how Raila is sleeping, and some things I don't appreciate, because old age is old age. Raila is not a young person, so of course there is an element of fatigue. And these politicians, by the way, these politicians work day and night, 24-7. So an element of fatigue is sometimes arises. But I don't think that is a political tool to be used against someone, because at the end of the day, we are human beings. Now, I feel that like in Western, they are getting the message wrong. Trying to beat Raila against Ruto is not the same. For them, they can first even say, uh, support Musalem Davadi, then support Musalem Davadi's decision to work with William Ruto. With that, you shall have made your message, instead of now going to attack Raila Odinga. Number four, I think, what is being revealed in this video, Washeli is unpopular, so that is why he decided not to go and seek re-election. Benjamin Washeli was a chief whip. And um, we will actually realize that um, as someone who is an MP, he has a CDF, he has a kitty. Now, the gentleman who was talking to him was questioning him about what he has done for the people. That is the best question. And for me, for, for people who are seeking elective seats, if you can have, if you can find slightest moment that people will ask you what you have done instead of you telling them what you have done. Because when you say what you have done, you find a way of packaging and even lying in between the lines. But if people can ask you things you have done, that is the best way to make leaders accountable. From what I can draw from that video, it is not really asking for more. But the truth of the matter is that Benjamin Washeli did not perform well as a member of parliament and that is why he has decided not to seek re-election. Or someone can challenge me. What will stop him to fall from going to Vai? If this is in his place, this is his constituency and this is the kind of opposition he was receiving in that place. Lastly, I think it's a norm. And politicians, to avoid heckling, always speak something to your level. If you are seeking an MCA, talk about the local things that are happening. If you're seeking an MP, talk about things within the constituency, but keep off the national politics. This issue of young politicians talking about Raila Ruto is what brings heckling even at that level. That's my thought. What do you think?